Welcome back gamers, it's Danny442 at the Nintendo K channel. 2015 marks the 30th anniversary of the Super Mario Bros. franchise and to remember, uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System had the Super Mario Bros. game and that was the very first game I played in the Super Mario Bros. franchise that I hold a very special place in my heart that got me to video games and uh, spruce up the love of video games that I have today. And uh, if you've not known recently, Super Mario Maker for Nintendo Wii U was released and uh, it, it allows you to create your own really cool levels to play and also to share around the world. And to be on the same vein, uh, Nintendo did release a video of uh, Takeshi Suzuka and also Shigeru Miyamoto discussing about the various artwork and sketches of the original uh, graph paper and when they designed the levels. So uh, Nintendo World Store recently uh, was a, had a very special showcase where they display the actual artwork and uh, concept of, of sketches of the original Super Mario Bros. game uh, in its original form. You get to see up close and first hand of the design and also the funny thing is you can actually see the, the stains and I'm pretty sure that they were having lunch uh, creating these levels so that's really nice to know that they're actually the original pieces and uh, so I'll be taking you outside my game room and into the Nintendo War store to show you firsthand of this amazing showcase. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave me down below in the comments as you're watching this video or what your thoughts of this presentation and I'll switch you to the camera and talk to you again soon. I would like to welcome everyone to the level 2 floor showcase area of the Nintendo World Store. The Nintendo Showcase is where the store periodically changes out their display to promote certain themes, franchises, or games. And in this case, it is the creative design history of the Super Mario Bros. franchise. As a point of reference by February 19, 2016, Nintendo World Store is now referred to as Nintendo New York. Let's start things off with the history of Mario franchise timeline. Here you see Mario had his start in 1981 with the arcade classic Donkey Kong and had his breakout role in the original Super Mario Bros. in 1985 and ending off in 2013 with Super Mario 3D World for Nintendo Wii U. Toward the bottom we have various Nintendo handhelds, games, and memorable Nintendo Power Magazine issues starring Mario over the years spanning multiple console generations. As we move toward the right, start the museum on display the numerous original artwork, sketches, and level designs of the Super Mario Bros. game from the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES for short. As we're living in a modern day, having games like Super Mario Maker for Nintendo Wii U allow us gamers to easily design our own Super Mario Bros. courses. But back in 1985, they, they didn't use computerized tools, both Shigeru Miyamoto and Takeshi Tezuka had to manually design the layout of stages and input data based on those drawings. The design process starts with designing and hand drawing the layout of the stages on graph paper and then subsequently handed those drawings to the computer programmers in turn converted those drawings into numerical data. It is a lengthy process in which only after the programmers finish processing the data that they get to see the finished course within a day or so. So you can imagine if edits were made to their design, they would make annotations and marks directly onto the graph paper, but if there were too many edits drawn, they would use tracing paper laid on top of the original. Takeshi Tezuka mentioned that they try not to experiment or make too many changes as it would be very tedious and lengthy process to manually enter all the data necessary to output a level design. Changing things around too frequently will frustrate the programmers. A fun fact that you may not be aware of was when both Miyamoto and Tezuka suggested various ideas that was to be included in their game when designing the stages. One idea by Tezuka stuck out was the suggestion of Mario floating around in the sky on a cloud and shoot coins from it. But of course, due to the graphical limitations of the Nintendo Entertainment System back in 1985, made that idea impossible. But over time, with better understanding of the NES hardware, future iterations such as Super Mario Bros. 3 and many other creative ideas was possible. Thus, Tanuki Mario was born along with his flying abilities and various other power-ups. As more powerful hardware was released such as the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, it led to more creative possibilities and concepts to be flushed out and realized. Example of this can be seen with Super Mario World. You can see original artwork drawings of Cape Mario spinning against Goombas and for the first time, Mario riding Yoshi. Their method of creating all concept animation, character, and level design remained the same since the original Super Mario Brothers. 
But of course, over time, their method of creating these amazing Mario games does evolve. With each game in the franchise, they have created easier to use tools in creating side-scrolling levels. The tool developer team worked on creating the basics on what would become Super Mario Maker. Now 30 years later in Super Mario Maker, giving everyone the creative freedom and ability for anyone to create their own levels with ease. The creative process has now been passed on to us gamers and our creativity is only limited to our imagination. The Super Mario Bros. franchise created many fond memories for myself and others throughout the world. These games are considered timeless and can still be enjoyed to this day. It was a joy to see the creative process and original concept work done that has shaped many of my fondest childhood memories and I hope you can share that thought with me. Let me know what are your favorite Super Mario Bros. games and any memories you would like to share. Please stay tuned to the very end of this final Nintendo World Store Showcase presentation to see a photo slideshow of this showcase for a closer look at the original artwork, layouts, and level design. Ending off with this life-size warp pipe where anyone can take a photo of themselves coming out of a warp pipe and now back to the Nintendo K game room for my conclusions. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this presentation of seeing the original artwork and level designs of the original Super Mario Bros. game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was a really cool journey for me to see it in person and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And for us to play Super Mario Maker of today, to create our own levels and to look back of how the original designers create their own levels really gets me inspired to do my own levels as well. So I hope you guys do the same way. Please leave it down below in the comment section of what are your thoughts on this presentation. I appreciate a thumbs up especially if you like what you saw. And subscribe to my channel, that helps me out a lot. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter where you see the latest happening in my collecting world. And as always, this is Danny442 at the Nintendo K channel. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.